If you're an author who feels like you have a relatively small audience, or if you don't have a whole lot of social media followers, or if you just feel like you don't have enough eyeballs on you in order to launch your book or to successfully sell your book, then I'm so glad that you're here because today we are going to talk about how authors with a small audience can actually sell and even launch their book even without that many eyeballs on them. So my name is Jen Hansen DePaula, and I'm the co-founder of Mixus Media. And this channel exists to empower and educate authors in how to successfully market their book and to grow an audience. I am really good at helping authors simplify the book marketing process and to actually find readers specifically on social media. So if this sounds good to you, be sure to hit like and subscribe. I share new videos every Friday. And also be sure to download my free book marketing blueprint. It's going to help you get everything started with your book marketing. That link is below. So let's get started. Now, I'm a big believer in the fact that there is no such thing as a small audience. Even if you have a small number of people that are already paying attention to you or that you already have their attention through social media or through other outlets, it is all about starting from where you are and growing from there. The number of people that are actually paying attention, whether that's through social media or through your community or through people that you're already connected to, are really the ones that are going to get the ball rolling. It does not matter how many people, it's actually getting started. Growth comes over time, and this applies to your social media following, this applies to actually selling more books. You start from where you're at and you grow from there. And so my first tip is to focus on who you already are connected with. This might be your social media following, this might be your family, your friends, your community, maybe it's organizations that you're a part of. It's all about starting, and that can honestly be one of the hardest things because we feel like everything has to be perfect or we have to have a certain amount of followers in order to see success. And that is not the case. If we're only looking at what we don't have rather than what we do have already, we're never going to actually get started because things will just always seem bigger and better on the other side. Start where you're at and really develop and really deepen those relationships that you already have with your current audience. And my second tip is to start local. Something that I always used to tell musicians when I worked in the music industry, especially when they were touring, is if you look at your hometown and you look at the clubs and the, you know, different venues that you could play at within like an hour driving radius and really saturate that. And once you've really deepened those relationships and really built a following there, you move out another hour or so radius outside of your hometown and you just grow from there. And this concept can also work for authors because if you look at the bookstores or even the libraries or writing groups or book clubs or any other in-person places where you can really make connections about, you know, with other book lovers or with other writers and you really saturate that and you grow from there, it's a really organic and great way for you to build a solid following and a solid audience and really deepen those in-person connections as well as continuing to nurture and build your online presence. Starting local is really a fantastic way to not only just get your feet wet and to get those relationships going, but it's also a great resource because when you can tap into your li local librarians, your local bookstores, they are all a fountain of information. So be sure to tap into them and to really not look down on starting local, but looking at it as an opportunity. And the third tip is to continue to grow. We often think that once our book is out, our promotions just kind of stop. And that is not the case. For our book's success, we need to continue to talk about it and to continue to drive people to our sales page and to continue to build that awareness. So when you can continue to grow your audience on social media and online, as well as in person, and continue to talk about your book, it is going to just balloon from there and grow from there. So really focusing on your ideal reader and thinking about 
connection points that you have. Maybe it's including your hobbies or other interests or passions that you have, but it's making those connections and continuously talking about your book and driving awareness to that. And my fourth tip is to always be looking for other promotional opportunities. Now, when we think about promotional opportunities, we think about this as being, you know, just kind of shoving our book down someone's throat or paying to have, you know, people talk about it. And that's not necessarily the case. This might be doing local book fairs. This might be if you write children's books, reading at your local library. It's about looking at things that are around you and things that are online that you can tap into. This might mean doing a ebook giveaway or an ebook reduced price for a limited amount of time and promoting it on something like BookBub or The Fussy Librarian. This could also mean maybe doing a Goodreads giveaway. It's really thinking about opportunities and seeing where you can sprinkle these promotions in. You don't need to dump all of your promotions right around the book's release. Really spreading them out throughout the year is not only going to help you to continue to see book sales, but it's going to help spread things out so that you always have something that you can talk about and that you can point your readers to, to take advantage of, uh, especially promotion or a giveaway. And then my fifth tip is to become a part of an author community. Now this can be done online or offline, but what's really great about the author community is that they all want to support one another. And that's what I love about authors and writers. They really want to build others up. And when you're a part of a community, you can ask questions and you can get really valuable feedback from authors who might have a lot more experience or they've had other success in other areas and where you can also share your learning experiences and what's worked for you and what's not worked for you as well. It's not just about using your fellow authors as a megaphone to help you promote your book, but it's really about learning from one another and and really drawing from one another to deepen relationships, but also to learn and to grow from there together. So even if you have what you perceive as being a small audience, you really have a great foundation to start to sell your book and to start getting things out there. Remember, we don't start off at 10,000 eyeballs on us. We have to start from zero. And so even if you're starting small and you're growing from there, you are making strides. You're making progress. So I always love to tell authors, start simple and get fancy later, because really it's about starting and getting the ball rolling. So put these tips to work and don't only focus on the readers that you don't have, or don't focus on just constantly trying to get a bigger number. Focus on developing a community and connections with your readers. And one of my favorite things about having a small audience is that you can get incredible feedback from your readers. You can ask them and you can get some ideas and feedback on what they really respond to. And so you can use that information to feed into your marketing and to feed into your social media presence. It's really looking at what you have and building from there. It's You have a wealth of information even within just a few people. So let me know what you think. How have you leveraged your audience and how have you grown your audience over time? I'd love to know. Leave your comments below. And don't forget to download my free book marketing blueprint. It's going to help you get started in laying out your foundation for all of your book marketing. It's in the link below. And don't forget to hit like and subscribe. I share new videos every Friday and I'll see you soon.